Now, I suppose at some stage in our lives, we all think we have a great idea for a book. More times than not, though, the idea goes by the by and nothing happens. We have a story for you now, though, about a woman who had just such an idea and she made it happen. Valerie Waters went to meet her at one of her day jobs at a truck dealership in County Monaghan. What is it about little boys and trucks? Mackle Valleys in County Monaghan is a wonderland for this little fella as he's brought by his dad to have a look at what's parked out front. One part-time member of McIlvanny's staff, Emer Conlon, has been observing the fascination of very young boys with trucks for the past decade here and thought to herself, maybe I could develop this and write kids' books featuring those very trucks. And why not? After all, she is the marketing manager of this large truck dealership, and most of all, she has a great imagination. Now, five years on from that time when the notion took her, she has two books in her Vroomtown series on sale all over the country, as well as their Osgoelga versions, and they're very popular with even three-year-olds. They're also on sale in McIlvanny's garage for the truckers to buy for their boys. Not many little boys can pass by the Vroomtown bookstand without having a look through one of Emer's books. On the days when she's not working in McIlvanny's, Emer is scripting and developing ideas from a room in her family home in Dundalk, County Louth. My background is marketing, so I was in a position that I could do the branding and the colour scheme, etc., and really build, I suppose, the brand of Roomtown, which is the name of the series of books, and um, be able to market them online and in shops and to, I suppose, press releases, etc., to get the name out there. So that's where it all resonated from, which is looking at the trucks out the window in McIlvanny Motors. And here I am five years later with three books, in fact, on the shelves, the Irish, the Oscailga version of book one. And we now have the second book just out, The Adventure of Terrible Terry, Dracti in it, Causing Chaos. And the Oscailga version will be available shortly in that. So what did those vehicles in McIlvanny's inspire Emer to write about? In the first book, the baddie was Bully Dozer. And it was all about his adventure in a quarry and where, how he managed to cause a bit of havoc there as well and very mischievous, very bold but he got his comeuppance in the end as it should be and the new book now is um, about Terrible Terry Tractor Unit and he is very mean and he tries to lead Trevor astray on a journey that they have to deliver a trailer to a very important client so um, it's just about the adventure and the journey on the way and again not to give too much away, but maybe Terrible Terry ends up on the naughty pit. I'm just saying he might. Right now, Emer Conlon's life is hectic. She has recently personally delivered her books to New York County Library and to the New York chain of bookstores Barnes & Noble. As well as her high-flying adventures, she also gives readings in local libraries and primary schools here at her old primary school, St. Malachy's in Dundalk, she's reading her new book, Terry the Terrible Tractor Unit Causing Chaos. It was early morning in Broomtown. All of the trucks in Bilburn's yard woke to a crash, bang, wallop. Emer's book, like, had, it's all about the truck, you know, so the boys love it. They love the whole truck business and the boys' side of things, but, but the girls also love it. We've read it with our classes. They also love the book because there's great colour in it. It's a lovely story. So educationally, it's, it's really very good and it encourages, I think, mostly the boys to read. The girls will be inclined to read anyway, but it does encourage the boys to read. And there aren't that many of these type of books for the boys. Bill Burns slowly opened the door. Moving with the times, Emer has an interactive website and app which has games and word puzzles for children to complete, all connected with her books. All of the added extras of Roomtown books have been produced locally, such as t-shirts, cardboard cutouts, stickers and graphic designs. 
The website was developed by Aura Internet in Carrickmacross, County Monaghan, and the books were printed in Drogheda, County Louth. All of the suppliers are local, and that was very important to me. As I say, I come from a marketing background, and keeping jobs local is critical. So, obviously, you can get the books and everything else cheaper if you were to go abroad. I now understand why people would do that, but I'm going to try and sustain the fact that all of the suppliers are very local and it's printed in Ireland and, you know, it's, it's attractively priced at 9 99 you know. So, in that regard, buying a Broomtown book would be for, for the enjoyment for the boys to encourage them to read and also the fact that it's local. Sliding door, maybe that might work a bit. My illustrator is John McCormick. He's based in Dublin and um, he's just, he's great. And nothing is ever too much trouble. And that's the type of person that you need to work with because I would be very precise in particular about what I would want. I, you know, it wasn't a blank canvas and saying, oh, I just need drawings. I was like, this has to be here. And John's very patient. And I know at times I drove him mad, but I just had to have it right for myself. So what's next for Emer Conlon? She's hardly going to stop here. When I was writing the first book, I actually had the idea for the movie script and most of my friends laugh at that, but I actually did. So before I finished the first book, I had the concept of the movie and I see this as being a movie similar, not unlike with say planes and cars and there's no reason why it shouldn't. I also have titles for 35 more books and I have three more written. So I would really feel that once we got the public behind it, that it can be a movie. The script is nearly there and nearly finished. And Thomas the Tank Engine had to start in one shelf, in one shop at some point. And this is just the start of Room Tess as I see it. Best of luck to Emer with her broom town books. She certainly is a good example of an enterprising Irish woman. Now, don't forget that tomorrow is National Women's Enterprise Day.